You bet it is. Is the Mormon church legalism? You bet it is. This isn't legalism. I will tell you, folks, I am a world-class expert on legalism. In churches like the Mormons and the Catholics, and remember, I served time in both of those spiritual maximum security prisons. I spent 35 years in the Catholic Church. I, I grew up Catholic. I spent five years in the Mormon Church. You know, and, and what is legalism? It means you can't get to heaven without keeping a bunch of rules. A lot of them man-made. I mean, like, for example, in the Mormon Church, you've got to wear magic underwear. You've got to do your genealogy. You've got to keep a journal. You gotta, there's 4,000 commandments in the Mormon Church. I have enough trouble that 613 that are in the Bible. You know, and there's all these bizarre rules in the Catholic Church, all these bizarre rules in the Jehovah's Witnesses. Every cult has man-made rules. They always build and add to what's in the Bible. And that's not good. What does it say in the book of Revelations? Yahushua says, if you add anything to this book, I will add unto you the plagues that are in this book. And if you take away anything from this book, I will take away from you your name out of the book of life. So when people mess with the Bible, add to the Bible, and, and Jews do this too. I mean, I can say this as a Jew. I mean, Jews have added thousands and thousands of the stuff from the Talmud and the Mishnah and the oral law that's not scriptural. So in a way, they're a cult. And, you know, you've got to have truth. And the Bible is the only source of truth. And if you start building on another foundation in the Bible, it's a house of sand. You know, on Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. And the trouble with these things is you never know if you're saved. You're constantly in fear because you're not trusting in Christ. And, you know, that is legalism. You see, the biblical faith is not legalism but because you do not have to keep the commandments to be saved. You keep the commandments because you're saved. And it's a world of difference because you do it out of love. You keep the commandments out of gratitude to Yahushua for the terrible price he paid for us to be saved from our sins. We do it because we love him. Just like with my wife. I mean, I do stuff for her because I love her. Not because she's going to smack me upside the head if I don't. I do it because she's the dearest thing in the world to me and I love her with all my heart. And that's, that's why I do it. In the same way, I do the things I do for Yahushua. I get up every morning and think, how can I best serve him today? How can I best advance the kingdom today? How can I minister to others best and most effectively today? Yahushua said, If you love me, keep my commandments. John 14, 6. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he sh that loveth me shall be loved to my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Now think of that. If you love him, You'll keep his commandments. And he says, if you keep my commandments, you know, I will love him and I will manifest myself to that individual. And if you want to see the Messiah, you have to keep his commandments. He says, if you keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. Do you want to abide? And see, the word abide there means to like live like it's your home. Do you want to do that? Do you want to live in Yahushua like he's your home? Amen. Exactly. Now, understand, this is not Old Testament stuff. People say, oh, well, that's all done away with at the cross. Well, not really. There's 1,050 commandments in the New Testament. Did you know that? Dake figured that out, the guy that did the Dake Study Bible. I'll tell you, I look at the study notes in that Bible, and I think, man, that guy had a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> that sucker's like the Talmud. You ever see a Talmud? They've got the actual scriptures in the center, and they're like this big, and there's all these notes around them, like rings on a tree from different rabbis down to the centuries. And some of it's beautiful, and some of it's not. And I, I love the Dake Bible, but it's just, it's hard for me to read with my eyesight, because everything's so tiny. So, if we, if we keep the commandments of Yahushua, we will abide in the Father's love. And can you imagine how amazing and empowering it would be to do that? It would be incredible. 
Beloved, we as a church need to repent and start living according to the Bible instead of according to the world Babylon system and the new international vomit Bible. Or else your family and this nation is going to start unraveling like an old dirty sock. First, the first step in taking back what the enemy has stolen is getting you your heart right and your life right with Yahushua if you've not already done so. Become an overcomer. Ask Yahushua to purge you of your sin and empower you to live life as an overcomer. Remember all those passages in the book of Revelations 1 to 3 where he talks about to him that overcometh I will give you know various various wonderful things. I'm not going to go through all the scriptures. But years ago I can't remember the name of the guy that, that taught me this but some preacher had this thing where it was a, a prayer and I, I, we have this on our website but a prayer to dedicate yourself as a bond slave to Yahushua the Messiah. And, and basically you just say, you know, I want to be your bond slave. I have no property nor possessions of my own. I have no time nor rights of my own. I am willing to put on your armor and fight against your enemies. I am willing to do absolutely anything you tell me to do. I am willing to die for you, but more importantly, I am willing to live for you. I am willing to put on your armor, fight against your enemies, and not for my glory, but only for your glory and the glory of your Son and my Savior, Yahushua the Messiah. And I make this lifetime commitment, not because I have to, not because of rewards. I make it because of my love for you, because I desire to please you, and because I want to be as close as possible to you throughout all eternity. I'll tell you, when I get to heaven, I don't want to be in the cheap seats. Amen? <laughs> I don't know if there are cheap seats, but you get the point. You need to realize that one of the meanings of the word Israel is he who overcomes with Yahuwah. Because what happened? This angel comes to Jacob at night. 